Okay, here's a little video I'm going to share. Um, you can see I posted something about the um, the uh, hydraulic lash adjuster noise on the Mitsubishi 4G64 engine, how it kind of clatters or taps, and that's in the Galant, the Spider GS. Uh, some of the um, Chryslers have it, and I think some of the Korean cars use it also, and some forklifts. So I. I started to work on this outside and pull it off, but I got a bad headache, so I stopped and I brought the uh, stuff in. So these are the these are the little rockers here, and um, I've got them laid out in the order I pulled them off the, the little rail here. You can see that's the rail, and the rail has holes in it. These holes here allow the oil to enter. There's a little hole in the rocker. I don't know if you can see on the inside edge there a little hole there and that lines up with the hole over here so when they're moving up and down it flows oil into there the uh, lash adjusters go into the ends like that into the the rocker and then there's a tiny little pinhole on the top which I guess is a pressure release just on the off chance that something bad happens and I mean it's literally a pinhole you can hardly I don't know if you can even see it through the light there, but if you hold it this way, you can kind of see it. So I'm being very careful to try to keep these in order. These are the re these are the spacer clips that go in between. I actually put these on wrong the last time I pulled the rail out. The spacer clips need to be done, pushed where the closed side is up against the spark plug tube so that it can't accidentally pop up. I had them this way away from the spark plug tube, and you can actually pop them off with a screwdriver, and that's not good because the the valves are, or the, the rockers are moving up and down, and it could potentially shake this thing loose over time. So, and uh, you can, actually, this needs to rotate that way. I'm trying to keep them all in order. And these rockers, they tilt left and right, so there's a B, some of these say BG6, and some of them say AG6, and they alternate. So one tilts to the one side, and one tilts to the other side, so they're actually keyed for a certain way. This is the uh, rail. The oil comes in through oil ports. Actually, these holes in the middle here are for the. Um, those are f for the uh, the bolts to hold them in. The oil comes in, comes out here. This pressurizes the lash adjusters, and these are the hydraulic lash adjusters here. And there's a little spring inside and a plunger. And the oil comes in the top and pressurizes them, and that keeps them inflated. And they spot this. You know, they're supposed to be so that they hold the, uh, keep the valve from having too much valve lash. So I had a clattering in the engine, and I already knew which lash adjuster was having the problem. It's, I think it's this one right here. And if you can kind of see, I know it's very hard to focus, but the top of this one has got little ding marks all over it. And now let me show you if you can see the difference between how these are. This is a good one here. See the bottom is perfectly smooth and if you try to, well, it's very slick, it, it doesn't really move when you squish on it even though I've bled it. And the bad one here moves quite a bit when you squish on it. So what it's doing is it's not inflating the way it should or deflating the way it should or it's just got too much play in it and that's causing it to actually as it's going up and down it's it's tapping on the valve you know making that clattering sound all the other lash adjusters here are smooth on the bottom I'm sorry that I'm just using a cheap uh, Kodak camera to film this but that's what that's what you can tell in this one it's got a odd little bit of a wear pattern in it and uh, this one's okay the ones that have odd wear patterns are probably going out they should all be pretty close this one has a, a little circle inside the, the middle of the wear pattern this one's, uh, looks okay so what I've been doing is first of all I took all of these out I dried them off with the paper towel and 
I probably shouldn't have done this, but I put my mouth up to this end here and blew through it so that anything would come out that hole just to make sure these holes weren't plugged in any way because if the holes were plugged then the lash adjusters wouldn't work correctly. And same thing here. Now this one's actually got a, some wear inside of it. And this appears to be the only one that has, well actually this one's got some wear too, but the engine's got 180, 190,000 miles on it. But that's, you can see inside there where it's wearing, that's the other side of this. And there's an oil port there with a little slot uh, where is it and where to go? There it is. And that allows the oil to seep out and coat the rail here with oil so that when these move up and down they don't they don't really have much wear. This one I'm just kind of feeling these to see if there's any burrs on them. But I'm trying to I got to keep these in order cuz one thing I don't want to do is install them facing the wrong direction because then the oil ports on them would be facing the wrong way and then it would not be getting any oil it would just be rubbing on these smooth parts there and that would probably damage the engine pretty quick so and I left that spacer on just as an orientation reminder of which way this thing goes when I put it back on so you can kind of inspect it for wear here there's some some wear here and here and I think that's probably because I had these these clips installed backwards on there and it was instead of holding their position they were probably vibrating around too much so anyway this is the little video I made just of this um, actually looking at these rockers I was looking for like identification stamps or anything and some of them are stamped on like this one here has a, a stamp on it with a little arrow and I'm not really sure and this one has a little stamp on it with an arrow but none of the others are stamped this one has, says 12-1 on it this one says 12-3 and has a stamp on it this one says 12-4 and has a, a stamp on it this one says 12-3 and has a stamp on it 12-3 12-2, 12-4. So there's one one, one with a two, and I think two threes and two fours. No, that's a three. Now three threes. I mean, that's a four. Okay, two fours, three threes, a one and a two. So that's I don't know what those stamps mean. They might be some kind of indication when the engine is being assembled you know like it's just the the bore maybe fits a certain way or the way it fits together kind of like you can I don't know I know there's some engine parts that you know each part is specifically designed to go in a certain place and you're not you can't switch them around because they've the uh, inside edge of them is a certain shape to make it fit just perfect so anyway that's the little video on this um, and just an idea if you're looking at lash adjuster problems because you uh, these other ones do not flex at all even though I've bled them out they're not flexing this one flexes and this one actually flexes very slightly so that's going to be causing your valve noise alright hope this helps some people thanks bye